Hi, and welcome to Blues Guitar Lesson 2. Uh, in this short video, we're going to learn how to play the blues scale in A uh, to accompany the 12 bar blues in A that we learned in our previous lesson. Um, and so, you should have already taken a look at Blues Guitar Lesson 1 to learn how to play a 12 bar blues in A, uh, but if you haven't already, go back and check that out briefly before we begin learning about the blues scale. Now the blues scale, or really any scale for that matter, is a pattern of notes that is meant to be played over um, a certain chord progression. And so the blues scale uses some blue notes that sort of give, give it the bluesy feel that we all um, expect. But what we're going to talk about today is just um, A blues in one of the more common positions uh, starting on the fifth fret. So I'll play this scale for you really quickly from lowest to highest note just so you can get a good sense of what it feels like. So that's just a general run through of the blues scale. Um, so what we're going to do to to play this is we're going to start with our first finger on the fifth fret. And we'll play that note. And then also on the low E string we're going to put our pinky on the eighth fret. We're going to hop down to the A string on the 5th fret with our 1st finger, play the 6th fret on the A string with our 2nd finger, this is one of our blue notes, a flat 5, then up to the 5 with our 3rd finger on the A string, 7th fret, then down to the D string, 5th fret, 7th fret D string, then down to the G string, 5th fret with our 1st finger. 7th fret with our 3rd finger, and then 8th fret with our pinky, and down to the B string, 5th fret with our 1st finger, 8th fret with our pinky, then back to the high E string with our 5th fret, 1st finger, and then 8th fret with our pinky. Okay, so now that we have a basic understanding of how to play the blues scale in A, uh, we're going to want to do some drills to really make sure that we, you know, can play that scale pattern well and very fluidly before we start to use it to improvise over a chord progression. So there are a couple of easy tricks to, or ways you can practice this to make yourself, you know, more accustomed to playing the blues scale. Uh, the first one you can do is you can sort of loop it while using all downstrokes. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the lowest note, right here, play up to the highest note, and then back down to the lowest note uh, using all downstrokes. And I'll demonstrate that for you right here. Another thing that we can do to gain a bit of dexterity in our right hand is use all upstrokes instead of downstrokes. And perhaps the most difficult exercise um, that we can do is we can use alternate picking, so we can alternate down and up strokes. And I'll demonstrate that for you, and that's a little bit more difficult, and then a little bit more difficult than that would be to alternate, start with an up stroke and then down stroke, so alternate down, up, or up, down, rather. But what I'll demonstrate for you right now is alternating down, up. So once you've mastered the blues scale in A, uh, scroll down to the bottom of the page and try playing along with the backing track that I've created. Uh, and try recording yourself and post uh, a response in the comment box below and I'll get back to you with some feedback.